increasingly and unfortunately, even organizations like the NIH in America or the research councils in Sweden and other European countries or perhaps the Wallenberg Foundation uh, look for some indication of uh, a practical outcome, however far it may lie in the future. Uh, I do think that's unfortunate uh, for a reason uh, that a colleague of mine named George Alfarov, who's Russia's only living Nobel laureate, who was a great physicist but um, from a previous time, he's now in his mid-80s, he told me about a remark made by one of his teachers, also a great physicist from the previous generation, so that all research is applied. It's only a question of time. And uh, one might hope that the funding agencies would appreciate that, that every, knowledge, every bit of knowledge that we acquire is ultimately valuable for some reason. There's nothing you can learn, for example, about human biology that won't ultimately have some medical benefit. Nothing, because everything is essential in the organism and everything pertains to life and health. So you need to know it all. But as you say, unfortunately, you have to provide some justification. Now what I do when I write a grant proposal and I'm asked to do that, and I make some broad statement like what I just did to you. 